is not dead. That is a surprise. I'm finally uploading. Yeah, so now I'm doing some Binding of Isaac gameplay. If you haven't noticed, I am recording the audio for this after I've recorded the gameplay because for some reason I couldn't upload. Uh, I couldn't record audio. But I'm currently doing an Eden run through, and before the I start recording this gameplay, I have gotten a na the nail, as you can see, and I also got pay to play. So I hope you enjoy this gameplay. I'll be commentating over where I think it's interesting to commentate, and I'll also be skipping some less interesting bits. So I hope you enjoy. Here I decide not, well, I get the key, but well, that's it. Forgetting that I have paid to play, I get the key. I decide to take the damage to get this instead of using a bomb, because I only had three bombs and I had a lot of hearts. That's a nice damage and HP up at the start of the game, but the key does come in use to open this chest, which pay to play does not work for. I was really glad when I saw that I got the nail in this run, because the nail is one of my favourite items. Not only does it give you the power boost for the room in your devil form, but it also gives you a soul heart and the ramming for that room. Well, the soul heart is just saves, so it's pretty useful. As you can see, I just used it, even though there wasn't any enemies just so I could get a soul heart since I had a battery use it again. So this let us this let me get a load of soul hearts really early on. So this is see this is only basement one and I've already got a full health bar. So that's why I like it so much. I did also get some soul hearts from something else. I can't necessarily remember what though. As you can see in the bottom left hand corner, I also decided to get a pulse worm. And I pick up the crack jacks just because a normal heart's better than other hearts. And I get the mark here. Uh, damage up's always nice. I don't get a headless baby. I don't like most of the babies. The only follower I'll usually get is Little Ink. Uh, Either Incubus or Little Brimstone. Ball of Tar is that another item that I have is actually coming in handy here. I'm getting a lot of slowdowns, which is helping me deal with enemies a lot easier. Now nah, here I had a choice that I could either just ignore the items, because there's only a few keys, a battery, and some chests, and some small chests. And it's worth, and I'm using up two soul hearts for damage to get them. But I decided to go through, get, um, get friends to the elf, end pill, and some more points. Nothing really much. And I end up re-rolling this. Get Mum's wig. I don't. I think I wasn't sure at the point what Mum's wig does. I think it spawns in flies. I'm not entirely sure, but yeah, I think it was a new item, so I decided to get it anyway. Send new items, God. 
gets me close to unlocked. Gets me close to a thousand and one percent. Now you may be wondering why, in fact, I am doing this uh, Eden run specifically, and I'm actually trying to do an exploit on Greed Rose to just not any reason in particular, but I just feel like it'd be cool to do. So I thought, oh, I'll just. There must be only be a few items that I don't have that I need for it. So I'll just get those quickly. Turns out I was a bit wrong. Probably, if you want to see the exploit done, and at the time of watching it, I've not actually uploaded it. So I'm, I have a feeling it'll take a while for me to actually finish the setup. Uh, watch Admiral Baru's video on it, it's pretty good. So the things you need to get before you get this exploit are the D20, the blank card, the Perthro rune, and the D6. Now if you're an Ibanualizer player, you may know that they are fairly hard items to get. The item I'm trying to go for now, the blank card, is probably the easiest of those items to get, as you need to come beat Isaac, one of the game's bosses, as Eden. But the thing about Eden is they get two randomly generated items, which makes it quite a bit easier to do a run as that, or him, I'm not sure which. So, that's what I've been trying to do first. The ne next thing I'll probably be doing is going for the Perthro rune, which in order to do that, you need to complete one of the challenges of the game called Solar System. The challenge usually called the hardest challenge to do. So that'll be fun. So that if I post another Binding Isaac video, it will probably be that. Either that or we're just beating Isaac a few times. So that's another thing I need to do. I I wasn't expecting grief I when I did the run, but uh, it was actually quite good that I ended up having a grief fight. I did have 13 coins, but still wouldn't have been able to buy any 15 coin items, and it gives me quite a few more door openings. That, with my play to play. So then in the room I get Tough Love, which doesn't help me that much, but it is a nice damage, occasional damage boost. Now I decide to take, go through these chests, I use a bomb and a soul heart damage just to go through, but and don't really get much for it. Here, if I the dark one, I take a half a heart damage, which I probably shouldn't. Well, a heart, actually. I'm taking quite a few hearts. I probably shouldn't have taken those. It's not particularly hard, particularly hard boss fight. And here, I get Guppy's Paw. Now, Guppy's Paw is an item I like quite a lot. I don't think many people actually like Guppy's Paw, but I do. I used, I used it three times, took myself down to one red heart, but I did basically refill all my soul hearts, which gives me a lot more protection. And I, I like, personally, I like having a load of soul hearts more than I do having a few normal hearts. Even though if you only I didn't use it that last time to get rid of all my hearts as hearts can be useful for devil deals. It's better than having I decide not to get a hookworm, staying with flatworm. But normal hearts can be useful for devil deals and stuff like that. So I like keeping one just in case. Now 
And even if I did, I'd only get a maximum of two soul hearts. That would be full hearts, but I don't think I'd be using it to its full potential. And here I get Bumbo Light. Bumbo is a familiar or a follower that I like quite a lot. Quite often he doesn't do much. But he, is, he can be really useful, just doing that extra bit of damage. And now, also, I decided to buy a treasure map. But now, we go through this floor with not much difficulty, as I said. I think lose a few soul hearts, but not much damage is done. And now I'm approaching what I presumed to be the, and was correct I'm presuming, to be the boss. Now, most of the runs uh, that I do successfully and I usually get a great combo, or like just brimstone. But in this, spoilers, kind of, I don't get anything like that. I don't get brimstone, don't get any real massive combos. But I still manage to do pretty good in it. And here in this room, there's a skeleton, skeleton key or golden key, or whatever. I decided to get that and the normal key. It's probably not the best choice, since though I don't look for any golden chests. I'd not seen any up to that point, and I already had eight keys anyway. Well, seven before got the other key. So I could have saved those two bombs and with nearly, well, probably no negative effects. And now we go into the brownie boss fight. Now brownie is probably my least favourite boss in the Binding of Isaac. He just shoots out a load of projectiles. It's almost impossible to dodge all his projectiles. He shoots down these mines that will always shoot out a load of corn. And it, I always get hit for at least a heart, which is annoying. But luckily, I had a fairly good run. Took a half and a heart. A uh, half, heart and a half. Now in this room I didn't actually realise there was a mom's hand going down, I just got lucky and it missed me. But I decided to take Guppy's collar, that could have been a risky decision seeing as though it leaves me with only soul hearts. But I, th I thought, eh, I have ten and a half, I think I can, and I have a 50% chance of being respawned now anyway if I die. So it doesn't matter. Through the run, I, quite often I keep on forgetting to let a good Bumbo pick up my coins, even though I don't really need them that much. But it doesn't affect the run really. And in this, this is a fairly good challenge room. Now, I'm not sure how good my run would have done if I hadn't have got the challenge room. See, I get a dead cat, and seeing as though I didn't have any normal hearts to begin with, it gives me a health up. And it also gives me the extra nine lives. And it gives me Guppy, seems I'd only touch Guppy's paw, and I have uh, on me Guppy's collar. So now I have flight, which is a good thing to have. And also, another side effect of having Guppy is you get flies every time you hear somebody. So that helps a lot. Because having a massive fly out of me really does a lot of damage. I'm going to do my pet patented, me patented method of dealing with mom's hands. Running up and down until they die. And see, I think uh, quite a few of my flies were used to kill that, but he basically just died instantly. And that's one of the best really good parts about Guppy is being able to 
an as you may have also noticed, I picked up Curse of the Tower in that challenge room. Now Curse of the Tower, uh, a lot of people seem to really dislike it. I don't really particularly dislike it. I think it can be really helpful, and it actually was fairly helpful in this run. And I've got a spirit heart there, which is always nice, especially when you have nine and a half soul hearts to cover it. And now I'm standing still. Yep. This chub, these chubs, if I didn't have flight, they might have been a bit hard to deal with, but since I did, I took them out with almost no difficulty. Also, the ball of tar, as I've said, coming in uh, well there. Pick up the Hierophant, which is a card that I really like, it gives two soul hearts. Nice insurance. Yeah, soul hearts. So now as you can see I've got a massive ring of flies. Quite a few spiders. I'm doing fairly well. I, was, I decided not to go straight to the boss room instead of trying to go for those off branching paths as this floor I've not I've not seen the shop or the item room. I pick up this coin knowingly because I knew that if I'd gone through and not picked up the coin then I wouldn't been able to get the item room. I pick up the car battery really just because I felt like it. Go through to the item room. Get the charm of the vampire which in this run didn't help at all. I'm going to be honest it didn't really do anything because I never really had that many hearts at all in now my mom. I mainly just stayed high soul hearts using the nail. And just all the soul hearts there anyway. I don't get the chance to do the boss rush. I'm not sure that I would if I could have, but I get the Krampus fight. When I was doing this I was hoping for a lump of coal, instead I get Krampus's head. Which I was considering getting. Well, telepill. I thought at this point I wouldn't be able to get it. I thought using the telepills to teleport out would have gotten rid of the devil room. And also my hierophant card, which I wasn't too keen about. But as it turned out, it was still there. But I still decided not to get a Krampus, because as you can tell, I really like the nail. Get, and I get another heart. So, I'm doing pretty well at this point. I've gotten two normal hearts, ten soul hearts, and at least nine lives. I waste my char a charge of my nail. Not only using it when I didn't have any quick way to charge it up in case there was like a boss that I wasn't aware of that had... Like when those mini bosses... I'm not sure that if there was then it would have been a problem. But... I did, didn't even have any soul heart slots to put it in. So it's just a waste. Again, I'm standing still. I... <laughs> At this point, nothing's really doing much damage to me. Uh. Can't really take much damage. First, I've, as you can see from all the items that I've got, that's a good time. I've got a pretty good range of items, got a few got a few damage ups, got the mark, I got the goat's head I think, so I get guaranteed devil deals, got steam martyr, got blood clot, and I got the nail just for extra speed and the tough love for 
tier shot, which just does more damage. So I'm, I've got pretty good stats, and I'm doing pretty well. Um. So I see this challenge room, and I think I'll go in it. And I really like if there's red uh, chests in the challenge room, or I'm not entirely sure what to call. I think the challenge rooms they might be champion rooms though. Yeah, I'll usually pick it up. I got, I get Bob's curse, but it doesn't really do much. Just gives me an extra five bombs, which, eh, it's okay. But I don't use the effects. If the effect works with Curse of the Tower, in fact, if the effect went with Curse of the Tower, then I'm probably taking a lot more damage just from the effect on its own. And from this, you can see just my massive army of flies. There's a swarm of flies. It's never anything comes near. Just kill them instantly. Now I'm getting towards the boss. I'm still picking up. I think I probably shouldn't like. Oh well, I'm still picking up the coins. And I, as soon as I do have uh, the goat's head, I get a devil deal. And I decide to get the circle of uh, the black powder. Thought it was circle of ashes for some reason. Don't get dimensional buddy. I don't really see the point in dimensional buddy. And I decide to use my nail now, just so I'm at full health. And now we're going to utero, uh, well, room two. I have a lot of keys, so I'll go through. And this, this was a decent room for me. The thing with this room is, there's a, there's a battery there, but I can't really use the battery. Seems so, though, uh, even if I did, uh, I already have full spirit heart, so it wouldn't really be of, of any use. And then I have another spirit heart there, which I can't use because I already have full spirit hearts. So normally, that room would be really good, but it didn't help me that much. Decided to take a chance. Uh, pick up the fork here on accident. But then, could have taken some damage from that, picking up that fork, but thankfully I don't. Easily worm my way through. Forget to pick up flatworm for a while. Eventually, I pick it up again. But the room just before the boss, mm. it lives. Oh. Right, I was expecting this to be a fairly hard fight, seeing as though I didn't have any particular good items like brimstone, but I deal with it quickly and it goes down. I decided to go to the cathedral, seeing as I'm trying to beat Isaac, eventually. In fact, I do not pick back up Flatworm. I did not remember doing that, but I keep Super Magnet instead. Which I suppose is a But that doesn't really matter, seems though I already have good hit. I take a part of damage where I probably shouldn't have taken the one there. But it doesn't matter in the overall scheme of things. Take another heart. Take quite a lot of unnecessary damage on this floor. And hindsight probably shouldn't have gone in this room. Didn't really affect me much going into it. But it was only one golden chest for a boss room. I guess I was thinking 
Uh, um, I've got a bit it lives pretty quickly. I can do this without my castle. I end up taking two hearts just on that monstro fight. And I uh, use my nail. I just crack my nail just to get an extra soul heart. Here I forget that I have Guppy. Get that forget that I can fly and just decide to see if I remembered I had Guppy I will probably would have done the deal with him. But here I realise I've got my bumbo at full there you go. The bumbo he doesn't do much but he just does continue damage and that's just nice to have. Oh, we're getting to the end here. And secret room, but I take another stupid heart of damage. Super greeds, they don't stand much of a chance. As you can see by the speed with the speed I took down the first one. I get a nickel and a dime, but it doesn't really can't really help me. Seems there's no shops left. So I take even more damage there. Stupid. And now. Uh, Sloth goes down almost instantly. And now, after picking up Temperance, I t make my way to Isaac. Face the final boss. A few sloths, but they don't really do much. I get emergency contact here to replace Temperance. Temperance can't really help me against Isaac, whereas the emergency contact can. And the final room for Isaac. Nothing really does much damage. Well, nothing does any damage. Decide to use emergency contact almost instantly just to get as much early damage as I can. Get into the second phase. And then I take it. Take some damage from that chair attack. But that curse of the tower did do quite a lot of damage to Isaac there. But I don't think if I hadn't had curse of the tower that he wouldn't have died and I would have lost. Pretty sure I would have still won. But anyway, that is my Band of Isaac playthrough. That'll be all. I hope probably be posting another episode of this soon. So, if you like this, keep watching the channel. Like if you liked. Subscribe if you want more. And goodbye.